Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears, the greatest game ever. Uh, this is the Benjinator. We're watching episode 7. So last time, Faye, our hero, ran into a strange but attractive redheaded woman in the woods. Her name was Ellie. They had a heartfelt discussion about, uh, well, you know, Faye was feeling suicidal. Turns out Ellie was actually involved in the attack on Lehan. Um, she was part of a crew. Uh, that was stealing a gear from Kislev, and they got caught, and so they ended up having a fight in the middle of the village, which sparked the whole thing on. So now Ellie is about to get eaten by dinosaurs, so Faye's going to go save her. At least I think that he should. You really don't have much of a choice in the matter, sadly. <laughs> like, you could just... It's too bad you can't skip it. I mean, it would complicate the game, and, you know, it's, it's kind of an immoral thing to just leave this woman to die, but still. Now we're going to be you know, putting our own life at risk by fighting this giant this giant monster thing. It does have a name, by the way. I just forget exactly what was it. But for some reason, text is speeded up when you're actually doing it, fighting in battles. Alright, so yes. Ellie is lying there. So let's use our death blow. We're going to be able to see our death blow for the first time, which does a... Paltry 21 damage. Oh, the Rancor. Kind of like, um... Isn't that in Star Wars too? Okay. Alright, so we can do th four of those, but that doesn't really do much. Uh, the next death blow, by the way, is a Triangle Triangle X. So once you gain five APs, which actually doesn't take that, take that long. Oh, nope. Your tail missed, sir. I'm gonna hit you with some Chi power. See if it doesn't do damage. Nah, eh, not much. Yeah, this isn't going well, is it? Hey, I believe in you. The only thing you can do is your little death blow. But it's all we've got. Rancor Dragon. I mean, it just kind of stands there, which is helpful, but we eventually need to kill it. And these 20 damage hits are not really doing that much. So what's going on? Is he gonna? Is he gonna unleash his? Uh, has he been storing power? Wait, what's that sound? What's that sound? Oh my God! It's the it's it's the it's the crab helicopter thing, and it's carrying. Oh look! It's it's Sutan Uzuki, the most useful character in this game. Oh boy, it's <laughs> it's the gear. It's the Destructo nuclear robot. Yeah, that's... Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, Doc, you saw what happened last time. Then again, you know, Ellie is about to be eaten, and that really would be unfortunate. Okay. That's actually a pretty good compromise. I agree with this. If you're going to nuke the forest, we're going to take you out first. There we go. All right, Faye, you can do this. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, viewers of all ages, it's going to be our second battle with the gear. So now, of course, we have 1800. We're going to kick it in the face. Oh, but it blocked it. Yeah, that's one thing that happens a lot um, in these gear battles. But all right, so now that we actually have the ability to use um, a death blow, you see that in the uh, lower left-hand corner, it says attack level one. This means that if you use the triangle attack, and then you use triangle again, you get to do, use a slightly more powerful attack. Oh, that's bad. So slow. That happens sometimes. It's a little bit annoying. And it's going to hit us in the crotch with, the, with, the, with its tail. Alright, so the way that this basically works when it comes to attack levels is you can't, you know, use that nice little triangle, triangle attack every time. You have to charge, and when you attack, when you, when you do an attack, it will um, it will boost it. So right now it's zero, but after that attack we just did, it's going to be up to one. And as you get higher and higher, once you learn more death blows, eventually there's going to be level two attacks and level three attacks. And so you have to charge up to that respective level to get it to work. But right now, this uh, Rayeki, or whatever it's called, is good enough. So this should be able to make things a little bit better. So also, uh, this because he's using slow, this is a really good opportunity to use the booster. So it does take up some fuel, but it basically negates slow. 
Now it's basically moving fast. It's, you're going to have less of a wait time. And all right. Oh, that little thing is going to be dying already. So now we're going to finish him off, stupid Rancor Dragon. You're rude. Rude. All right. So that's, that's the end. Got some scales. Another item that you can kind of just sell uh, for fun. All right. So, Doc, you saved the day. Even better than the doctor in, uh, what is it? Back to the Future. Oh, he's better in many ways, actually, as you'll see. Yep. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, I wouldn't say remarkable. It was pretty good. It wasn't bad. I, I kind of liked how he took out the, the, the samurai machine gun robots better. That's just me. So, yeah, Doc. Wh why? What brought you all the way out here? Weltall. Oh, that's its name. Yeah, it's... Doc, you're, uh, you're a glutton for punishment, aren't you? It's always trouble when Seitan Yuzuki's around. But it's the kind of trouble that leads to very fun and productive and deep adventures such as Xenogears. Okay, that's a good point. Strength. Strength and power. Are very useful when you're just kind of a loner who's been, you know, basically dismissed by his entire village. <laughs> I like how they're having, like, an actual reasonable debate about this. He's like, well, you know, there are some pros and there are some cons. <sighs> hey, just don't hit the nuke button, I keep telling you. Don't go crazy and hit the nuke button. I mean, unless you really want to. I mean, I could, I could see some situations where it actually works, but it might... Now, it might take you out as well. There's no guarantee you're always going to be winning that that side of the fight. You're always going to be coming out on the other end un, unharmed. Oh, yep, now they're, uh... There we go, we're getting into the discussion about the, the use of power, whether it can be good or bad. Yep, Faye, I trust you. Just don't, just don't lose it, and you'll be fine. Something suspicious about this gear. Alright. Ellie! You dead? No. Well, hopefully she's not dead. Oh, there- Well, that was really quick. That- She just got right up. That was crazy. I am Sito Nuzuki. Most epic character in this game. Yeah, that could have been bad. Could have been, uh, taken advantage of by... Forest trolls, that would just be ugly. Oh, come on, that was so much fun seeing, you know, him try to do the death blows on him. Could have worked. Yep. Alright, well. That is that. <laughs> Borrow. You know, you'd think they'd have, like, a tracking device on that thing. You know, if it's, if it's such an important gear that it's worth an enemy army going in and stealing it, you would think that they would have some kind of locator in case it got stolen. But, you know, I guess I guess the Kids Love Armor just isn't that smart. <laughs> Put it on your tab. That'd be funny if... Either, that'd be funny if either one of them actually had a tab. It'd be like, well, these are the favors you owe me, and you also owe me this amount of money. Yep. On our friend here. All right, now for the try-hard fire once again. <laughs> Making just an obnoxiously loud noise. Eh, but that's... That's PlayStation games for you. The knee actuator and the bypass circuit. Y you just made that up. You, 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 you just made it up, Doc. I don't believe you. Now, one battle, and it's... That's not a very powerful... That's not a very uh, robust gear. It's not a very sturdy one, I should say. If only one fight with a Rancor Dragon does that. Yep. It's a very long day. Destroying villages. Fighting... Fighting T-Rex thingies. Uh... Okay, I, I don't know what language he's speaking. But apparently she knows it. Yeah, Doc figures these things out pretty quickly. 
<laughs> mysterious woman. See, Dan, there's always a mysterious woman in every JRPG. That shouldn't surprise you. Mm hmm. Deductive reasoning, or inductive reasoning, I should say, is the strong suit of Mr. Yuzuki. Or that. There's that too. Checking ID tags helps. Uh huh. Well, we kind of know who she is now. Proper berries. Yeah, he, <laughs> all by himself. Tsuten Uzuki, inventor and uh, apparently funeral home owner. <laughs> That's what he does in his spare time to earn some extra money. Well, one could deduce that she was, you know, a member of some kind of foreign army. I mean, I don't, I don't think that was... Or some kind of... She's not from around here. I think everybody could figure that one out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. There's going to be a lot of pass prying as this game goes on. So it, it's not like there's going to be these huge gaps of... Uh, Mi uh, of non-information. There's not going to be a lot of information omission, let's put it that way. That is not a problem that this game has. Uh-oh. Is this going to be a... Uh, this is not going to be a dirty favor, is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, just GTFO? Alright, well, that's that's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, you, you bad luck, sweetheart. You bad luck. Vain struggles. Ooh, foreshadowing. Well, it's not really foreshadowing. I mean, isn't there always like a vain struggle of some sort in every JRPG? I think there is. It comes in some form or another. Do not worry. He, he doesn't like to use contract. He doesn't like to use contractions. He just says. He doesn't say don't. He says do not. I shall. I will. Yeah. Stu yeah, well, it, it was kind of a dick move on her part. Let's be honest there. Something horrendous. Horrendous! Ah. Uh. At least now you acknowledge it. They kind of screwed up if she didn't, didn't do that. Well, you know, it's one of those things you'll have to deal with at some point, but fortunately, it's a long game, so you might be able to get over it at some point. Per people. Ooh, I wonder what that means. Surface dwellers. Domesticated animals. Yeah, you're going to be introduced to some weird cultural stuff going on in this game. The able. Ooh. Oh, okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. She, like, comes from some place that thinks that they're all better. Oh, that's... Ugh, that's... I don't like that. That's some, uh, that's some fascism there. Hmm. She's compassionate. Because she is a playable female character. What the hell's Jugen? got some, uh... Yeah, she got some Nazi-like tendencies, or at least some upbringing. I mean, she seems like she's fairly decent, but... I mean, like, wherever she went to school, they were teaching some pretty, uh, divisive stuff there. Hmm. Yeah, Faye's a special guy, like I've always said. That's why it's fun to play as him. Faye Fong Wong. Hero extraordinaire. Ah, I see. So your father wasn't a complete asshole. That's that's pretty good. Oh, a secret nanny. That's such a cliche story, though. Like, you know, the stories about, like, the, you know, the wealthy family with the kid. And the kid starts to be kind of, like, different and imaginative. And they got, like, a... They have, like, a nanny that's telling them all this stuff. And eventually, uh, you know, the parents find out that the nanny's, like, telling these kids about, like, like, the, like all these mystical lands or... 
other ideas and then they fire the nanny and it's, it's bad stuff. But, I guess, uh, I guess that wasn't the case because her father actually seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Good job, Sitan Uzuki, just being like, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. By the way, yes we are. Yeah. Sitan Uzuki would be a good car salesman, too. That could be his third job. Aside from inventing stuff and operating a funeral home. Yeah. GTFO. Goodbye, Missy. <laughs> okay, I've. Single quotations, not sure if that's significant, though. Oh, I guess I guess that means he said that in the uh, in the foreign in the foreign language, whatever it is, whatever uh, Ellie was talking earlier in that cutscene. Interesting. So, I guess I guess Ellie's gonna go. Huh. Yeah, you know, you thought Faye was gonna wake up and be like, "I overheard you. I don't want her to go." But alas, it happened. Yay! It's the the sleeping sound. It's good stuff. All right, so. Oh, I guess he it was up, huh? Yeah, Faye's a light sleeper. He doesn't actually believe in sleep. Okay, well, it's okay, Faye. You didn't you didn't miss the part. You missed the part where we basically talked about how small of a penis you had. Is that you were a pathetic person? I, I I'm kidding, Faye. I love you. <laughs> yeah, she's she's from a different country, not from around these parts. Well, they're already having... Yeah, like I said, they, 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 tend to, they, they tend to be beating a dead horse at this point. But I guess it makes sense. Like, I... It's more human to do that than to just kind of forget about it and not discuss it at all. Like, there are some games where you do these, like, experience these really traumatic events. And by contrast, where you actually commit these horrendous crimes where you just end up wiping out huge segments of population and you're just kind of like, oh... Well, that's, uh, that's alright. You know, like, you don't even, you don't bring it up, you don't discuss it. Like, things just happen and it never comes up. So. A certain place. Uh-oh. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't trust that Yui character. Might take them to some kind of, you know, cultic ritual sacrifice. You never really trust anybody in this game. Alright, what to do next? Head for the desert, but the forest is so nice. Who cares if it has, you know, goons and attack birds? All right, so your suggestion, C10, is after destroying our village in a inter, basically an international conflict, we're gonna get involved more in an international conflict. I don't understand your thinking, sir. Okay, like I. Honestly, it would just make more sense for Faye to go away and become a hermit somewhere and, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe play some video games, read some books, uh, learn how to be, like, learn archery, I don't know, something. But anyway, so there we are. Ellie's left, and now we have a new playable character, Satan Yuzuki. And as you can see, he's at level 5, but he's got 215 HP. He is just awesome! Love him so much. So, um, I was going to stop here, but let's actually... Let's actually find a save point first. I want to make sure I do that before I stop the video. So, there's Welltall. So let's uh, let's head out. See where the next area takes us. Okay, so actually, I think that's yeah. I think this is the way we're not supposed to go. But here's the save point. So, anyway, guys, uh, we lost Ellie. See Tanuzuki told her to go away, but we have him now, the doctor in our party. Now he's suggesting, with all his infinite wisdom, that we go south to a war-torn desert country. How will this turn out? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm the Benjinator, and I'll see you guys next time.